they call it a wake-up call. So he hopes his team can get back to attention to detail. And back-to-back -back threes on the offensive end to get the next score. A little drop step back to the three-point shot. I know he well designed. The rotations and simple spots. Yeah. He's just trying to find the right combination. But those of you that want to know what it's all about, it's like this, yo. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will. But it's Name up in lights, he just wants to be heard. Whether it's the beat of the mic, or he feels so unlike everybody else alone. In spite of the fact that some people still think that they know, but no, he knows the code. It's not about the salary, it's all about reality and making some noise, making a story, making sure his click stays up. That means when he puts it down, I'm sick and it's up. Let's go. He never really talks much, never concerned with status, but still even the starstruck. Humble through opportunities, given despite the fact that many. He misjudged because he makes a living from writing rats. I put it together myself, and the picture connects. Never asking for someone's help, but to get some respect. He's only focused on what he wrote. His will is beyond reach, and now it all unfolds. The skill of an artist. This is 20% skill, 80% fear. Be 100% clear, because Ryu was ill. Who would have thought he'd be the one that set the West in flames? And I heard him wreck it with the crystal method, name of the game. Came back, dropped mega death, took him to church. I like bleach, man. Why you had this stupid this verse, this dude is the truth. Now everybody giving them guest spots and socks through the roof. I heard you them with that stuff. 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% Sick and he's sitting fire and Mike got him out the dryer. He's hot. Got him in. Again, it's the ability for Nova right now to anticipate. Beck Hilliard to take this thing off the dribble. Five seconds to go. Archie Diagono back to Hilliard for the lead. Got it. Timeout, Butler. Hilliard's got 31. What a huge mistake to the game. Seniors, try to keep your, your concentration. I know this is a big night for you, but as soon as we get done this, let's, let's get away to get your head right. You energy when heart shows up. Said, I'm, I'm really not supposed to be here. I'm truly blessed and honored to be part of something really special. And whatever coach asked me to do, I did. Whatever coach wanted me to do, I did. If he told me something, I'm going to do it. And uh, just kind of led by example. I wasn't the one who, who yelled and screamed a lot, but if coach got on Darren Hilliard, or if coach told Darren Hilliard something, Darren Hilliard. Interesting talking to both coaches before the game. Each coach said, Turned it into something. Made in his look good. Hilliard lets another three go, and he's got it. Wow! Taron Hilliard, back-to-back -back threes for the Cats. I mean, you see Darren Hilliard understanding 
the pick and roll and who's covering the pick and roll. Reason why I'm saying is if you watch this pick and roll, he understands Abu wants to give him some space because he's scared of his speed. So he just pulls up with confidence. You got to knock it down, but I like the recognition. Understand there's a big who can't come out. He'll be late challenging, but he knocks five it. three pointers. Here's Hillier. Four goes to three. Hillier for three. Got Whoa. it. One point seven. We're joined now, Darren Hilliard, the senior, 32 minutes, 12 points tonight. Darren, you guys have had these expectations all season long. You were voted in the preseason to be the number one. He can't even hear me, it's so loud in here, and he's only six feet away. Darren, welcome. The expectations in the preseason, you guys were the team to beat in the Big East. How did you guys try and manage that through the course of the season? Uh, it's tough, it's tough. Being in opposition, uh, uh, you got guys, uh, a lot, of, a lot of things could, could come with that. I mean, a, a lot of the guys, they just, we just stuck together. We didn't let it get to our heads, and we just, we just took it day by day, honestly. It, it, it was tough, but uh, uh, we wanted to be in that position, and we, we practiced for that position, and, and uh, we got through it so far. Darren, you, you sit up here, first thing you said is, man, this is pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, really, really, what is this? I know what it means to me as a former Big East player to see you guys, the way you handle yourselves and how you represent what all of the old heads used to represent. How do, what does this mean to you right now as far as where the season started, your career started, yeah. and how it's come full circle? Hey, well, personally, man, I, uh, where I come from, it's, it's not every day you see this. You're not up here with guys like you guys. And uh, it's just, I'm stunned, honestly. It's just a, just a blessing. And uh, uh, we got six more games left, but we're going to try to take them all in the stride. Hey, Darren, I can tell you from personal experience it's not that cool. I got <laughs> fired. That's why I'm up here. <laughs> hey, it's all good, man. It's all good. Hey, look, you played three great games. I want to ask you a question. Were you upset when you weren't conference player of the year? I, uh, I mean, the, the coaches made a good decision. Uh, I mean, I, I can't, I can't control that. I just, I just wanted to control going out every day and, and making it happen for my teammates. And, and they made their choices and, and they made their votes. And uh, I can't, I can't control that. Arts deserves it fully. And uh, I mean, uh, I'm happy for him. I have to be honest, though, from from a former player, the way you started this tournament, it looked like you were on a mission. Yeah. The way you caught the ball, you didn't second guess. From the very first game to this game, you had in your mind, I'm going to show people who, not just who Villanova is, but who Darren Hilliard is. Yeah, yeah. and I mean, I just I just always come out of that mindset, not just because I didn't make the play of the year, it's just I always want to have that mindset and, and just, just let people know that I'm always on the attack. They can't they can't play off Darren Hilliard. They got to make sure they recognize Darren Hilliard, and I think I think that these guys uh, have the same mentality, and that's why we're great. Darren, you guys have had your struggles in March as of late. Now that you've gotten over this Big East yeah. tournament title hurdle, if you will, now you've got the big one in the NCAA tournament. How do you guys need to approach things differently this time around than you have in the oh, past? The same, the same mentality we were supposed to Big East. A lot of people were, were skeptical about how we were going to be in the in the Big East tournament, and uh, we kind of proved people wrong. And and uh, I think our mindset was was not trying to do that, not trying to prove people wrong, just just going in day by day, sticking to our core values, and, and doing what we have to do day in and day out. And that's what got us here. Darren, what is the big takeaway for you guys as far as maybe where you improved over the course of this tournament? Uh, we, we, we got a high ceiling, man. Uh, people think that our, our, our ceiling is we reached it, but we, we still got a lot a lot more improvement to do. And then our defense could be better. Our rebound could be better. People say we're a small team, but, but we got to rebound rebound the ball better. And uh, we can get a lot better. And, and I know Coach Wright is going gonna, is gonna to harp on that. Hey, we're going to get him out of here. They're running out of yeah, pieces, go man. You better go get Hilliard. yours. Oh, yeah, man. They're running out of pieces. Yeah, I, I got to share this moment. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Congratulations.